Hi there everyone, it's me, it's Hera. Hi, it's happy Monday today. Um, I wish I could convince you of that, of the weather that we've been having outside. It's grey, it's dull, it's dismal, but it's humid. So that's not a great combination. I've been out today, I had to go and get my legs seen to. I got caught in the rain and my hair is just, it was nice and now it isn't. So I'm really sorry, I have tried my best with it, but... When you've got unruly hair, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm sure if some of you will be able to identify with that. Anyway, welcome one and all, Yom Tov. I hope you are all having a really lovely day today. Um, I want to wish, you know, new people, hello, Yom Tov. You are very, very welcome to our haven. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Uh, we are a lovely, warm, friendly bunch of people. And we're very supportive and very loving. And, you know, what more can I say about, you know, the people who have gathered here? And hello to everybody else from the middle, from the beginning. Hello, all of you. And you know how much I love all of you. Um, Right, what did I want to talk to you about today? Well, firstly... I would like to thank everyone who supported last Friday night's spooky session. A uh, little bit of a departure for me with telling the story about a curse first and then what turned out to be a true story afterwards. Um, so this coming week I'm in the horns of a dilemma because I have six stories to choose from. and. Um, you know, it, it, it's tough because I like them all and I don't know which one to pick. Um, two of them are quite long and I'm worried that we're going to go over our time. Um, so if you could let me know about that down in the comments, that would be great. Now, recently we've had um, Candy and now Melissa have been um, giving me their scary stories. So um, I've got Candy's pinned at the moment. I'll pin Melissa's at the end of the week and then Candy's second parter the following week and then Melissa's second parter the following week after that. But please keep your spooky stories coming. If you've got something that you want to share, you know, and if there's something that you ever want me to read, I'm more than happy to read it to all of you. So all I ask is just, you know, let me know in the comments or if you're on Twitter, you can send me a DM. DM oh, there I go. You can send me a DM on Twitter. And I always leave my handle in the description box. So, you know, anybody can contact me there for anything. Even just to say hello, I don't mind. You know, I'll talk to all of you. Okay. So, the other reason I wanted to talk to you today is that um, I thought about something new, another new feature for the Haven. And I've been asked a few times to do some um, folklore stories. But I thought, I know sometimes folklore stories can be a bit scary. I wasn't sure how to fit them into a Friday night. Um, because folklore is such a wide variety of folklore worldwide and there's tons of it so I thought right I'm going to keep Friday night as our scary spooky night and I wondered how you felt about a Wednesday um, a Wednesday night to do folklore from around the world and um, I was thinking of um, starting this coming Wednesday um, I'm still researching all the stories. Um, there's quite a few. And I'm not going to just tell one and then go. I thought I'd make it another half hour feature. And maybe, have, it depends on the length of them. Um, maybe four or five different folklores. You know, different, different stories to choose from. And choose them from different areas of the world. So, you know, there might be some from Africa, some from Europe, some from Asia, 
some from the Americas, you know, Australia, places that, you know, New Zealand, all over the world. So I'm going to be looking everywhere for all the different folk stories, you know, per country. I know there's a lot in Scotland, Ireland, England and Wales. You know, that's just my own home turf. So there's bound to be stuff everywhere. Plus, if you want to send me in, or if you want to talk about your own folk tales, and if you want me to read them out again, just let me know and I'll sort this out, you know, and then everybody can enjoy them. You know, it's not just for me or or whatever. It, it would be, I think, a really good idea to have something to share because I want to make um, the haven somewhere where people aren't just coming, say, once a week or they're just coming whenever I have to put a video up. Um, I'm not the sort of person who could do a video every day. Um, I've got to pace myself. I, I mean, I really do. I have to pace myself. And um, I did the video Friday. And I must admit, I was just so tired. And, you know, sitting still for that length of time and talking and what have you. Um... It is a bit uncomfortable. So I had to spend Saturday just sort of pulling myself together from that. Sunday, unless there's nothing going on, is really a family day. So I thought, if I talk to you about everything and anything on a Monday, um, you know, health permitting, if we make Wednesday folklore day, and that gives me a day, in between videos just to chill and relax and then you know unless something comes up miss Thursday and then bring you the spooky sessions on Friday so I wanted to give the Haven just a little bit more structure so that you know we can try and cater to everybody's needs and um, I was hoping that Monday could be left for general things like if something has happened in the mental health community that we need to talk about or we want to talk about any mental health issues in particular. Um, if there are any life experiences that we would like to talk about. I mean, one of them that did come to me the other day was um, miscarriage and how that can affect your mental health. And that is something I do know about. Um, it's a heartbreaking topic. It really is. Um, not everybody can talk about it. But it's something I think that we should think about to talk about. Because it hit me hard on more than one occasion. Um, and it certainly mucked my mental health up for quite a while. Um, but if you could let me know, is this something that you would like us to talk about? Because as you know, last week I talked about divorce. Um, I mean, I told you the bare bones of it. I didn't go into all the all the letters that happened with lawyers, all the things that the ex-husband did to, you know, delay the divorce, all the different tactics he used. When he did get in touch, it was stuff out of La La Land. Absolutely. Um, so divorce is never cut and dried unless you're one of those lucky couples where you can split amicably and you can agree on everything. Um, as you know, mine took four and a half years and that's a long time by anybody's standards when it comes to a divorce. Uh, nice big high uh, lawyer's fees, though. Um, lawyers are never the losers when it comes to divorce, are they? They are always the winner. Um, as much as they sympathise with you and and believe you and want to plead your case and what have you, they're not doing it for free. 
there's no such thing as a, a free phone call though or anything like that is there um and when you feel bitter and you know you end your time with the person and everything is anger bitterness hatred you know you're on a fast road to absolutely nowhere and you know you either stay in it and rot from the inside out just slowly but surely your whole self starts just to rot away because you're not the person that you were and being with a person if that person's wrong for you can bring out the worst in you they can bring out sides that you didn't realize that you had um and when you've walked away and the dust has finally settled and you get back to who you used to be and then you meet someone new and you realize that you never ever want to repeat those mistakes again and you don't want to hurt them you want to love them and take care of them because they make you feel that way that they want to love and take care of you and that didn't happen for me the first time round because he was extremely self-centered um it had to be his way or the highway <clears throat> and in order to keep the peace nine times out of ten it was his way but it's not like that now. For me, I was very, very lucky. There was a huge light at the end of the tunnel with my now year old marriage. Um, you know, we have our ups and downs like anybody else, but it's a charmed life compared to the one I had. An absolute charmed life. And uh, I couldn't be happier. I'm an incredibly lucky woman, all in all. You know, yes, I've got some health issues and yes, it would have been nice to have walked down the aisle and walk back up the aisle. Of course, there's all those things, but at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Um, we got married and that's what we both wanted at that time. It took us both a long time to come to terms with it. Um, but, you know... It is what it is. So, that's basically, I think, all I wanted to say today. Because I don't like constantly bombarding you with really long um, videos. I know some of you had said that, you know, if I was giving you a, a reading out the tutorial for a car engine, you'd listen to me. And listen, that is a wonderful compliment. It really is. But, you know, not everybody feels that way. Some people only like 10, possibly 15 minute videos. Um, and I'm, I am trying to talk less and hopefully not bore you. Um, but I just wanted to catch up with you all. Uh, because I do miss you when I don't get the chance to talk to you. Um, and I wanted to tell you about the Wednesday folklore. Um, I'm not quite sure what to call it yet. It might be just Wednesday folklore. I'm not very creative, I'm sorry. I, I will think of something, but that's when I'm going to do it on a Wednesday. So we're going to have, you know, either dedicated chit chat about something on a Monday. Wednesdays we're going to have folklore and Friday we're going to have the spooky sessions. So, and like we say, on Monday, we can talk about anything. We can talk about gossip. We can talk about mental health. We can talk about just about anything that you like. Um, but as long as you realise that the reason why I'm doing this is just to give us a little bit more cohesiveness altogether. So, with that all being said, 
I will wish you a very happy rest of your day and I hope it's wonderful for all of you and I will see you on Wednesday and I hope you all come and listen to um, Hedda's folk tales from around the world and I really do hope you enjoy them because I want you to tell me you must be honest with me right you tell me what you want and I will do it to the best of my ability okay because you're worth it that's why and don't forget you are never alone listen to the words of message in a bottle by the police and you're loved so never forget those three things okay okay take care bye bye see you in the next one